What's going on guys, Dorko back again, hope you are fantastic today and welcome to Final Nights 4. If you watched my charity stream on Saturday, I did play a demo of this and it was really cool. But apparently there's some new stuff now in because it's released to the public. I think there's a cutscene and stuff. So yeah, I want to get straight into it. It looks amazing, the main menu screen, I adore it, it looks awesome. If you look in the background you can see like floating gift boxes and stuff like that and those creepy animatronics. And also, Happy Halloween. One more day until I can talk about Christmas all the time, eh? Uh -huh. Right, zooming into those two characters there, Spring Freddy and Spring Bonnie, or Fred Bear Spring Bonnie. And Max Donovan have previously stated in an earlier post, the mystery of Fred Bears is a very interesting one. Not much seems to be known, but I think I got a good lead so far. A couple of days ago, I sent something in the mail, and I was told what was inside may be of interest to me. Finally, after sorting out all the rest of the junk mail I got, I opened this one, and to my pleasure, saw some very intriguing things inside. On the outside was a note that said, This once belonged to my grandfather who worked at Fredbear's. He disappeared soon after, and this was all that was left of him. New information is always great, and it's even better with a story attached. Oh, look, it's me. I went inside the letter, and to my amazement, I found a key to the entrance of Fredbear's family diner. Oh, wow. Wow, that car! That looks good. As of right now, I am planning on visiting the old establishment soon, and see what I can do with what was sent to me. If anyone has any clues to who this grandfather character is, I got you, mate. Below, I really am interested in knowing who this person is, really. Matt Donovan. Paranormal investigator. Paranormal investigator. Okay, so he's investigating the abandoned Fred Bear's family diner because his grandfather went missing or something. Investigation one. Okay, so I'm playing as the paranormal investigator. The puppy likes the attention. Okay. This is it. Where it all started. <sighs> A breath of fresh air. You know, I've always said she's the location was amazing. Um, for Click Team Fusion, I think Scott did a really good job. But I've always wanted a FNAF game on Unreal Engine as a click and point game. And by the looks of it, it is, which is awesome. So let's have a look around. This is Fred Bear's Family Dining. It's abandoned with a nice purple hat on top of the S. Lovely. Nice little touch there. Okay, let's have a look in this car boot. Okay, so this is why I love it. You grab the keys. Uh, is that a wind-up flashlight? Yes, I love that bag as well. Very charming. I'd, I'd buy that. Okay, and he's not going to bring his documents with him. Fair enough. Okay, so we've got the keys and okay, the flashlight. Okay, let's go back and let's go inside. Nice and quick as well. No low low times, which is fun. There you go. Let's open the door and let's go in. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be so amazing, so fresh, because, you know, it's been sealed off since it was closed, so it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. All the animatronics are going to be in there, spick and... Spick and spam. Well, okay. It's been a while since it's been sealed off, then. We've got overgrowth everywhere. We've still got the little stars, which is cute. Um, Okay, broken pipes. That's never a good sign. Let's keep going forward, though. Ah! How can I get jump scared by a pipe, really? Really, game? Did you just jump scare me with a pipe? Okay. Keep out. What's this? It's a door which is locked, which means we have to find the key. Let's have a look over here. What What have we got? Final payment. So this is the office? Well, it's got to be. If there's a fan, guys, if there's a fan on a desk in a FNAF game, it means it's the office. We know that. We know that. Okay. So we can get our flashlight out. And voila! We got the key. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. And we've got... That key's a little bit small. So I'm guessing it's for this door. There's the arrow. Thank you. Okay. Um, here it is. Let's open it up. Get the bag out. I hope there's more of this as well. In the future. Let's open it. What is in here? Do not jump scare me, please. I don't really see much. I just see pipes. 
Overgrowth in the background now. I'm actually scared that there's like an animatronic behind those bushes. I hope not. Let's go back in for a sec. I think we've got. I think we've got to turn this crank. Wait, I did not mean that. I did not mean that. There we go. Okay. So now that's all done. We should be able to get past. Hopefully, anyway. Fingers crossed. Let's get the hell out of here now. Let's get the hell out of here. So yeah, we're a pamano pa Why can't I have moves like the puppet? <laughs> Let's go and say hello to him, shall we? <laughs> okay. Puppet show times, 8 a.m. Oh, is the puppet's on for 15 minutes. Oh god. For 12 hours a day. Oof. Hey, you look so cute. So spooky at the same time. Okay. So there's a curtain. The curtain I can pull on this, okay. And pull this, I can put that on. Cool. Ah! Ah! <sighs> Game over. Rip. And there's a little mask as well. That's have Okay, cool. That's cool to see. Still spooky though. Okay, so in the hints it said that the puppy can't be seen. So we d the puppy doesn't like to be seen. But I'm guessing the puppets do. So, hopefully this works. So th okay, yeah. Okay, there we go. So we can't show the puppet, but we've got to show his puppets. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So that's a puppet. They should work. There we go. We've done it. We've solved it. We've cracked the mystery scoob. Like zoinks! Okay. We should be good now. Okay. Let's just wait patiently, guys. Come on. It's, it's been about 30 years since his last puppet show, you know? He's a little bit slow. We've got to give him a warm welcome. I don't know why the puppet's doing this with us. I don't know. But let's just get through it. I like the vibe, like there's no music, it's just a weird background effect of like an abandoned place and complete silence. There's no noises what the puppet's making or the puppets, it's complete silence which makes the atmosphere really good, like realistic. Like, this is what it would be like if you was investigating an abandoned building. There wouldn't be music in the background, like a scary atmosphere. I thought that I was going to click that then. That's why I like it. It's fun. There you go. And I love the idea that the puppet's got poo puppets. It's gonna say. What the? What the hell? Did like? That's weird. That felt like a memory, like a deja vu thing. Then. Like, the puppet went at us and gave us a memory or something, and now we're playing the memory. 1973. Hello? Hello there, new night guard, and welcome to my establishment. Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Henry. I'll give you Henry! The okay, I'm playing as the owner. Function. Why? Up, you have your cameras up front. Activate them by pressing space on the keyboard in front of you. You can press mm -hmm. to exit back. Guys, look, there's the corner. What we was just on. This is the facility what we've been we we're investigating. Oh, and I got an alarm. What's this? What the hell is that? Which I've done. Oh, look at the gift shot. I'm not listening to what he's saying. I always do this in FNAF games. I'm sorry. Left shift. Okay. Oh no! Wait, I'll see him over there. Oh, look at these withered animatronics. These look like sp spring lock suits. 
<laughs> They've got five fingers. These are spring lock suits. Who's that? Oh, it's... Hello! Oh, the animation's really good. Okay. Right. Okay, so if he's... Okay. There he is. Hold on. He's there. Will he come to party room one now? I've got to get him to party room one, this one, and when he's in here... I've got to call my um, office. He's here, he's here. Right, go, go, go. Okay, when Bonnie gets in my office, I've got to stay still. Easy. Come on. Are we good? He's not coming! Thanks for the... Got it. Got it. We got it. Wait, there's Bonnie as well. Okay, so basically what I've got to do is look around for Fredbear and ring the alarm. Like, it's kind of like an opposite spring trap. So I have to make him come to me instead of, like, staying away from me. And Spring Bonnie comes to me and I've just got to sit still or something. Which we should be able to do. Now let's have a look around for Fredbear. Um, I think that's him there. You can just see him in the shadows. Okay, so now that he's there... Do we just... Where's he going? How do we know when he's going to turn the power off either? Is, is there, like, a power room somewhere? I don't even know. Okay, something just happened. Oh, he's back on stage. Okay, so he comes, he walks, he gets off the stage. We have to take him to party room one, put him in our office, and then he goes back to the stage and rinse and repeat. Okay, someone was just in party room one, I swear. I like these vents as well, which is interesting what other animatronics are going to come after us. Okay, it's... That neck crack. Okay. Uh. Okay, bye. What the frick? Okay, that was disturbing, to be honest. Wait, 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 where's Fredbear? Where's Fredbear? Okay, he's still on stage. So, this is just weird. I own the facility, right? But the animatronics are coming after me. So the person on the phone must have made the animatronics. It's got to be William Afton. And I'm Henry in this law. So the person who just rang me is William Afton. And he's probably made these animatronics or something. He's trying to kill me. He's playing a game with me and he's trying to kill me. Wait, where did... Where did Fredbear go? Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, let's bring Bonnie, but where's... Uh-oh. Guys? Wait, he's here! Okay, party room one! He just seems to like going in the puppet corner himself. I'm hoping this works. I've got a feeling it didn't. Sometimes he might ignore you or something. Oh, he's here! Okay. This should work, hopefully. I find it really weird how, like, we're in the location, like, and we're investigating the same location, but it's withered down. I love that idea. I think it's very cool. Okay. I just want to have a look around in the rooms. Oh, God, here we go. What if I carry on being on my camera when he comes in? Would he be annoyed with me, or do I have to look at him like Spring Bonnie? Oh, this, he's not interested at all. Fredbear's family don't amend. Oh, we did it! 6 a.m. Okay, that was only the first night as well. Hey, thank you for playing the demo. Thank you. Nice. Good job. Okay, guys, I really enjoyed that, actually. That was pretty fun. And I'm looking forward to, um... Oh, secrets. Oh. I bet there is some secrets, isn't there? I bet there's, you can click on some things on the camera or something.
that'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, this is. I just wanted to show off the demo at first. Um, I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to the the next. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Like, I think this is going to be awesome, and I hope. I'm really hoping there's more of the investigation bit. I'd love to see that more than the main uh, Henry uh, office stuff because I really like. I really wanted a click, a click team like walking thing. I don't know what they're called. I think they're just called click, point and click. Yeah, I want I want more games like that for FNAF, um, because I really enjoy it and I think it, that looked great. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. That was Final Nights Four. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Have a great Halloween, and I'll see you all next time.